Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best Fortnite settings for the new Chapter 5 Season 2. And in this video, we're going to go over the Fortnite in-game settings, launcher settings, and just some stuff that you should do generally on every Windows machine. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So go to the link in the description and download the new pack file for this new season. And once you have it downloaded, just double click on it and open it. Make sure to extract it with 7-Zip or WinRAR. And once you've extracted it, just go to the folder that's inside of it. We're going to first reset our game cache from the old season but what this is going to do is the first few matches while you do this are going to be a little bit stuttery a little bit laggy so just keep this in mind just because if we reset this that's going to happen so we're going to go to number one we're going to double click on delete fortnite game and basically it's going to take you to the folder where you have to find the folder that is called fortnite game and then just delete this now i just want to make this clear we're not deleting the game files we're just deleting the configuration files for the game it's called fortnite game but it doesn't mean that it's actually the game files so make sure you're not deleting your games make sure you just delete the fortnite game file which is located in percent local app data percent just want to make that clear so once you're here just right click on this click delete and before you do this just want to make sure that it is going to delete all of your replays so if you need to replace for whatever reason probably skip this step once you deleted it now you just want to go back to the fortnite pack folder for the season and then you want to go to the game config and launcher settings so we're going to double click on this we're going to double click on the epic games launcher shortcut and we're going to go to library we're going to click on the three dots right next to fortnite click options and basically just copy what i have selected here you just basically want to uncheck everything and keep pre-download stream assets check and then press apply then click on your profile on the top right go to settings uncheck minimize the system tray and then uncheck run my computer starts and then scroll down and then uncheck the desktop notifications and then go to fortnite click on additional command line arguments and you basically just want to make sure this is empty and uncheck the reason for that is just because these do nothing so a lot of these youtube guys tell you to put stuff in here whenever the developers completely lock the game from any command line arguments go back we're going to basically launch the game just so it builds the new configuration files and then we're going to replace the configuration file with the one that we have in the pack folder so launch your game and once it's loaded up come back to this video all right so once you have the game open all you want to do is just basically close out of it right now it says that i'm in the queue just ignore that this is just the first day that the season drops so there's a lot of people that are in the queue right now but what we're going to do we're going to close it click and confirm and then go back to the pack folder and then we're going to copy this game user settings ani file so right click click copy and then you want to click this address bar at the top type percent local app data percent press enter go to fortnite game folder go to saved config windows client right click on the blank space click paste and then click replace the file in the distance and now once you've done that you want to double click on here scroll all the way down and just make sure these settings are all basically set to zero view distance you can change in game to whatever you usually use but leave everything else on zero now frame rate limit changes to whatever you usually use so if you're on a 240 hertz monitor and you get 360 fps consistently cap 360 if you're on a 240 hertz monitor and get 240 fps consistently cap 240 basically simple as that and then your desired screen width and height you could change this depending on what resolution you're using and what your native resolution is for me i use 1920 by 1080 so this is fine and i use 144 fps because i have a 144 hertz monitor so once you've done that click file and then click save you can close out of that now now we're going to go back to the pack folder and we're going to go to number three which is going to be the gpu optimization so this is really important you want to make sure you identify what graphics card you have you either have an nvidia graphics card or an amd graphics card if you have integrated graphics you could pretty much just ignore this step and move on but for nvidia users and AMD to use just follow this so generally you want to be using the latest drivers if you are just watching this video and if you're on a very old driver however if you're using a driver right now that has worked fine and you have any issues with it just stick to that driver updating it is not really going to help so if you have no issues just stick to whatever driver you have for amd you probably would want to use the recommended drivers depending on what games you play they usually have bug fixes here and there so recommended for that but once you've done either one of those i would recommend watching both of my guys where I go fully in depth for both NVIDIA and AMD. You can watch those on my YouTube channel. But for this video, we're going to keep it short and simple. We're going to close out of the Epic Games Launcher and we're going to do NVIDIA since I have an NVIDIA graphics card. So once you're once you're here, just double click NVIDIA and then double click NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And all you want to do is we're going to, we're going to drive that Fortnite dash zilly NVIDIA.nip into the new Profile Inspector and then press OK and then press Apply Changes. And then scroll down and you want to find CUDA Force P2 State. Make sure this is off and then scroll down even more and make sure our bar features and all bar options are set the same as I have it right here. Once you've done that, press apply on the top right, close out of this to go to NVIDIA control panel by right clicking on your desktop, go to adjust image settings with preview and make sure the middle one is selected. Use the advanced 3D image settings and then press apply.
apply and then go to manage 3d settings scroll the way down and just make sure you have the same settings as i have right here now i just want to make it clear you might be having only low latency mode on off or ultra if you're on a laptop you could test both and see which one you like best but usually it's either off or on just because ultra is going to give you fps drops so i would recommend testing that out especially for people on desktop you can also test off and on some people end up getting fps drops while it was on on just because there is reflex in fortnite so you could this setting usually gets overrided by that in game so but scroll down and then just make sure everything else is the same as mine now go to configure surround just set this to your graphics bar go to change resolution make sure you're on the max refresh rate and make sure you use the nvidia color settings and set output dynamic range to full and then press apply and then once you did that go to adjust desktop size and position set this to no scaling however if you use stretch resolution in fortnite you can set this to full screen and do your stretch resolution by clicking customize right here but if you don't use stretch resolution which is recommended i would just use native you can just pretty much set this on no scaling and ignore it now you can close out of this now now go back to the pad folder we're going to go to number three again and click on msi mode tool to lower driver latency and then we're basically just going to make sure our graphics card is checked and it's set to undefined and just press apply on the top right of this window so making sure that you refresh it and it's still checked and close out of that and then now we're going to go back we're going to go to basic windows optimizations so i have commands for desktop and for laptop make sure if you're on a laptop you only run this one and make sure if you're on desktop you just run this one so i'm going to run this and as you can see it's already done it's just press a key and it'll close out and this one right here disable windows defender this is really important disclaimer this is going to disable your antivirus within windows and the reason for that is just because windows defender completely destroys your fps and uses a lot of background resources so if you care about security probably leave this alone but if you care about performance way more than security and you're smart on the internet and know what you're doing most of the time then you can disable this so all you want to do is just right click on this click extract here it's going to ask you for the password the password is literally just zilly with the x capital and then press okay and just double click on here double click on here double click on dcontrol.exe and just click disable windows defender now once you've done that this will turn red and then anytime you want to use the windows defender again just click enable i go way more in depth on this on my windows defender video so you can watch that but now we're going to go back and we're going to close out of this we're just going to do normal windows settings so to do that we're just going to click on the start menu click the gear icon and we're going to go to system scroll all the way down go to graphics settings turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling and the reason for for that it's just because as of right now just don't use it just because it either reduces your fps or it gives you no performance benefit so i would just leave this turn off go back go to power and sleep go to additional power settings and then right here you can either or use ultimate performance power plan or high performance so just pick whichever one close out of that and then we'll go to storage make sure storage sense is off and then go to notification actions basically turn all these off because they're pretty much useless and they're going to annoy you while you're gaming shared experiences same thing and then we'll go to home we're going to go to apps we're going to scroll down and just basically uninstall anything here that you do not need this is really important just because we want to have the least possible programs running in the background to have the best possible latency and the best possible fps go to startup disable anything you don't need in here and then go back to home go to gaming go to game mode you could turn off game mode just because game mode does do the same thing as far accelerated gpu scheduling it either lowers your fps or it does nothing however if you're on a quad four cpu so usually this is i3 or Ryzen 3s somewhere around there or an old i5 or an old i7 if you have a quad core CPU you might want to test on and off with this but usually you just want to off for most modern PCs nowadays Xbox game bar same thing always turn this off this is terrible for performance go back to home we're gonna go to privacy basically everything here you're gonna disable except microphone and except camera but everything else disable as it will reduce your system usage reduce your RAM usage and basically just make things a lot smoother snappier and faster go back home and then we're going to go to network and internet and then we're going to go to change adapter options going to double click on ethernet and then speed you want to make sure this is on 1.0 if you have anything lower than this then you have a problem with either your ethernet cable or an outdated network adapter driver or your router doesn't support gig connection between your pc and the router which is a problem and that means your router is terrible or you're using the wrong port on the router so double check this but once you've done 
that, go to properties, uncheck everything here except internet protocol version 4 and QoS package scheduler. But everything else you can uncheck and then press OK, press close, close out of that, go back to home. And that's pretty much it for the Windows settings. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like down below, comment down below if this helped you, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to this YouTube channel and watch more videos just like this that help you with lower input delay, way more FPS, and snap your gameplay all around. If you want a full PC optimization service done by me personally, go to the first link in the description. I've worked with pro players like Uga, Bizzle, pretty much anyone that is in the Fortnite scene I've worked with and given them the lowest possible input delay and the best possible FPS for their PC parts. If you want a PC, however, completely custom built by me, optimized by me, and tested by me before you even get it, then go to the second link in the description and you can purchase a PC directly from me, which is tuned for the lowest possible input delay right out of the box and the best possible FPS. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.